Hey, hello, I'm Laura. So today I want to introduce your book, you a book um, called Wolf Totem. It, in this book, you will also know something about the nomads in Mongolia, their culture related. But I like mostly I want to tell you it's about this uh, wolf story. So after like the name of the book is a wolf totem. You can search on Google. They have a movie as well, and they have the English subtitle, which is easier for you to understand. Um, why I why I want to introduce you this because I was so shocked after I read this book, and then I realized, wow, wolf, they're so smart. They're so smart, and uh, they're really good at strategy, like how to fight with the like other animals, like be human, like. Uh, other animals like their food right and why they're totem for the nomads because they protect the grass they eat the rabbits they eat those animals who uh, destroy the grass so they keep a good balance for the grassland and uh, about their intelligence there are few stories so first one is that um, so I have to start with all the reasons and you know why they, they're doing this, okay. Um, because in order to keep a good balance, there's not too much wolf and not too much like other animals. Human also kill wolf babies to keep the balance. To In case they have too many wolves, they don't have enough food, then they will start to attack the livestock. It will be risky for the human, right? So. They, one time they kill too much, and the uh, wolves want a revenge. Wolves attack livestock. One night, there is a group of wolves. They jump in the fence of the livestock, and uh, they kill lots of livestock. And the fence is too high, so they can't drop all. And uh, then they were so, like two wolves on the bottom like one wolf uh stand against the wall and then the other one stand on this wolf also against the wall and then the other wolves just jump on the second wolf to get off and the second one also jump on the first one to get off so what should the last one do you know he can't reach that's too high what he does he move all the dead body of the last dog to the wall and then he jump on the dead bodies so this is one story and there's another one the wolf also have really good patient in the winter time they're always short of food in order to uh, have enough food like they kill the gizel by not kill them you know they Actually, they didn't kill them. The snow killed them. So, like they watch them all the time. And uh, one morning, when all the gazelle have lost, like drink lots of water and uh, just uh, like wake up, then suddenly the wolf like trying to uh, like chasing them, and uh, all the Gizel, like Mongolia Gizel, because they drink lots of water, so there's a lot of water in their blader. They can't run fast, otherwise their blader will broken. Some of them, their blader broken. That's why the when wolf like chase, start chasing them, those Gizel have nothing to, like they can't do anything other than just follow the wolf's instruction and they all run into a snow nest where it's a hill for them because once they run inside they will die and most of them they died this is like a good refrage for the wolves because they will be frozen there after the snowing and uh, you know when they're hungry they will just come here to get some food and eat so they're very smart and they're very, very uh, good cooperation, good teamwork, right? All right, so that's all for today. Thank you. Bye-bye.